As with all problems, it started with a need. I needed a natural way to repel mosquitoes at camp. You can watch this whole process in really fast motion here, or you can stick around and watch it in more details. Today I'm going to be making an outdoor candle to repel mosquitoes. It's going to be an easy project to do at home and it's going to be a great non-toxic safe alternative that you can take with you to camp or have around your house whenever you're outdoors lounging. Okay, I'm going to be using a six ounce jar. I have reused this jar multiple times, just wash it. I like having a lid on it so I can just snuff it out, just put it out and not have to worry about it. Six ounces of melted soy wax is equivalent to a cup and a half of the soy wax flakes. I'm going to start my stove. help it heat up a little quicker. Many petrochemicals are often found in outdoorsy candles and they're marketed towards us outdoorsy lovers but they're super toxic to us and our environment. It's sneaky because they often portray them to look natural and citronella scented but often citronella scented or citronella fragrance is just a fake it's a synthetic fragrance made of petrochemicals. And citronella is just another term for lemongrass. But either way, it's usually just a synthetic fragrance of. You have to read the labels. They might have a little bit of real citronella in it, but they'll often mostly be filled with synthetic fragrance, which is made from petrochemicals and is harmful to our health as well as wildlife's health. Often contain paraffin and a metal core to the wick which will release heavy metal toxins into the air and paraffin is also another derivative of petrochemicals. I'm going to give this a mix here. So while the wax is melting, I'm going to prep my candle. I have a non-heavy metal wick. I have this handy little wick tab. So I'm going to put the little sticker on the wick and then it's a double sided little sticky. You can also hot glue um, or use some like Gorilla Glue to glue it to the bottom of your candle. It just helps keep it in place. Sometimes it'll come dislodged when you put the wax in. So now that my wax is melted, I've been reusing these like chopsticks for so many years for my candle making supplies. I love it because it's just wood and I think I've burnt it a little bit or that's from different uh, natural dyes that I've used. So the essential oil today that I will be using is lemon eucalyptus. There's many different essential oils you can use. You can use lavender, cedar, lemongrass, lemon eucalyptus, 
clove, thyme, tea tree, cinnamon, and I think that's it. Those are all known to repel mosquitoes. Lavender and peppermint also have been proven to repel mosquitoes, but I actually wouldn't advise to use them in a candle because they have a lower melting point and they'll just kind of burn out of the wax before you can enjoy the smells. I will be using a 7% dilution for soy wax. That's the recommended safe, allowable amount of these volatile essential oils. So I calculated 7% of six ounces of melted wax is 0.42 ounces. And I'm gonna take, it's on there tight. I'm gonna take my handy dandy shot glass and fill it at about halfway. It's about halfway. I'm gonna stir it in. And my can and my candles ready to pour. The calculations must have been a little off. You can use one of these tabs. I just happen to have one of these to help hold the wick in the middle. Otherwise, you can use uh, some sticks, some chopsticks, or some clothespins. So a quick safety tip when you burn your candle, make sure you burn it in a nice clear area where things can't catch on fire. Um, I've had things actually catch on fire that were next to a candle, like a pizza box that was adjacent to a candle, which was surprising to me. Um, you wanna make sure that the wax melts all the way across the candle. So when you light it, you want to make sure that the wax melts across the whole candle before you blow it out to avoid tunneling. Um, otherwise, if you just burn it a little bit and it doesn't burn all the way across that top layer like a little bit, then the next time you light it, it's going to be at a lower state and it's going to be kind of engulfed with too much wax. So you want it to burn evenly each time. And of course, you never want to leave a candle unattended. Well, thanks for watching and let me know, did you guys try this at home? What scent is your favorite? I like this lemon eucalyptus. Also, I do have a whole lot of this essential oil, so it may, might be impartial, but it's a very strong smell. It holds up well and I believe it works very well. Thank you.
Okay, so I'm gonna start with a six ounce jar that I have reused, washed, recycled quite a few times. I like the ones with the lid on it because when I wanna put the wick out, I just close the lid and it snuffs it out. Super awesome, I love it. And I like this nice little convenient travel size for camping.